The switch is on. Last run for turquoise, revealing the new carrier and the rusty report on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, <clears throat> Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, here it is Friday the 29th. Oh, July. Just delivered here in Fargo, North Dakota. Took him, I was here an hour early. It took him 35 minutes to get me unloaded. And that's it. it. Took him seven and a half hours to get me loaded. Unfreaking real, huh? So, at least they got the unload quickly. Yeah, I'll never go to that craft again in Morris, Illinois. There's a warning driver if you ever get a load going, uh, picking up at that craft. 100 Prologis Drive, Morris, Illinois. You're going to be there for hours and hours and hours. Seven and a half, they helped me out, my God. One quarter mile, turn right on 40th Street North. Okay, Garmin, volume zero. Hopefully that worked, okay. So now, I don't have another load yet. Bo called me earlier about one to get me home. Um, hasn't heard back from that yet. Doesn't pick up till six o'clock tonight. Just about 40 miles away. So, I'm gonna run over to the Petro, top off the fuel. It's cheaper here than it was in Minnesota. So we'll do that. And then I think I'm gonna cook some lunch. And then we'll see what they come up with. And I'll let you know how the meeting with Bo and Rashad at Turquoise went and what the future is gonna hold now and what all the plans are. So stand by for that. Petro wasn't too far away at all from the delivery, which is nice. Just right across there, it's going to be in the left lane <clears throat> to get over there. So able to <clears throat> grab a shower at the Petro 2 is what they call it. It's actually a holiday fuel stop in Clearwater, uh, Minnesota, on the way up this morning. Yeah, I, mean, I only made it to Clear Lake, Iowa yesterday afternoon and then I had to sleep. I, I only got like an hour nap while he kept me, held me up all night at that freaking craft. So I had to sleep. So I got up early this morning, got going. So it was a good time to drive through Minneapolis, St. Paul at uh, four o'clock in the morning. That made it nice. So I was able to get a shower after I went through that. fresh well, off here to the right there's always I've always wanted to go to this place the space aliens grill and bar earthlings welcome but I'm probably just gonna cook something here in the truck but that place is always intrigued to me. space aliens grill and bar maybe someday They've, they have another one down there just northwest of uh, Minneapolis so obviously it's kind of a Minnesota chain alien themed restaurant I always thought that was pretty so we'll get on over here and get her filled up, cook some lunch, and we'll see if uh, Mo comes up with something to get me toward the house. That's the whole plan, at least. Over to the left. Yeah, fuel here is uh, 4.44 a gallon to me. Cheapest I've seen in a long time. So let's take advantage of that, baby. Yeah. Following this parking lot in there. That's what we call the car haulers. Got a Porsche on the bottom back, Jeep on the top. Get her in there, buddy. Come on. Oh, what are you stopping for? Well, there's a tanker just kind of sitting out there in the middle of everything. Just trying to figure out where to go, I guess. We'll go around this side. I 
I don't need the def, which is on the left side, so we can pull up to one of these. Get her done. Alright, so yeah, after I filled up there at the Petro, uh, then Bo did end up getting did end up getting me another load. Picking up in Perham. Never heard of it. Minnesota. They make the chips for Walmart, the great value chips. So I'm bringing that to the Walmart distribution center in Cheyenne. So hey, actually a load getting me straight home. So this will be my last load for turquoise trucking that I'm on right now. Uh, I, had to, I had to take a nap this afternoon there in Fargo because uh, this one didn't pick up till 6 p.m. Which was fine. Uh, because you can stop your 14 at least if you take something longer than two hours, I was able to still make that work, go pick it up. I'm just now under the gun to where my new 14 ends at 9.45. I want to go a little past Fargo. I looked up and there's a couple of little gas and sip kind of no-name truck stops. I should be able to make it to one of those, so that'll be my plan there. So that was in Minnesota, Perham. It was about 75 miles uh, east of Fargo where I was so now I'm heading back this direction there's no great direct way to go because once you get out west you know you don't have as many interstates and everything so I'm gonna go across to 94 and then drop down highway 85 down to around Spearfish South Dakota and then just keep dropping down down to Lusk Wyoming I'll go across to I-25 and down to Cheyenne's Alabama. this delivers Sunday at 3:30 uh, p.m. So I'll do the majority of the drive tomorrow and finish up on Sunday, and uh, and that'll get me home. I do like these prepare to stop when flashing, so you know when that light's about to change. That's helpful for us truck drivers, so we know we can start slowing down at times. So we don't have to slam it on. Well, this is a light load. It's uh, it's only about 10,000 pounds. It's chips. Chips don't weigh a lot when they're in their bags and all that, so anyway, yeah, so this is my last load for turquoise. I am leaving them, I am moving on, and uh, for those of you who have been scoring at home, following along, you know I met uh, one of my subscribers, Mark, south of Youngstown, a couple weeks back, a few weeks back, uh, and the reason for that actually was part of this whole change. He has a small little trucking company called Whitestones Logistics, and uh, he basically gave me a personal invitation to come join him. It's just him and two other drivers. I will be his fourth, including him. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, that's why I got my hazmat back on my license. He does. He is a licensed hazmat carrier, which means we can hopefully make some better money. That's the whole point of this, right? So, I've been getting everything all set up with him. I didn't want to reveal where I was going until I had talked to him. And I wanted to say, hey, yeah, are you, you want me to mention that in my videos or not? And he says, well, I don't care. And he's a very small company, and so he did, did say, you know, don't, don't be calling him up. Uh, he would be like by invitation only kind of thing. Luckily, he'd been watching my videos for a long time, so. That's how uh, I got the invitation. So there's one advantage to having my my YouTube channel. So that's where I'm going to be going. He's based uh, out of uh, Letonia, Ohio, south of Youngstown. So I'm excited to make this ch uh, transition. Uh, I did leave on real good terms with Turquoise. I uh, talked to Rashad and Bo yesterday. And... Uh, basically let them know I, I, this is just what I need to try to see if I can make some better money out here and make a better living doing this. Uh, I, I did you know, say, look, I want to keep the door open so that I can come back. I don't want to leave on bad terms. I told them it's nothing personal. It's just been lousy rates and uh, there's nothing they could do about that. So hopefully with the hazmat loads here and there, I'll be able to pop that up just a little bit better. That's going to be the whole point. So, but Bo and Rashad were great. I still recommend, recommend turquoise trucking. If you don't have hazmat and you're an owner-operator, uh, if you, you don't 
have to have a trailer like I do. I own my own trailer, but I'm one of the few. They will lease a trailer for you. They'll put it all into the package. They're real good guys to work for, so I still really recommend them. I would go back to them, and I still may end up going back to them at some point. You never know. So uh, please do know that I, I don't have any ill will towards them. But I think this is going to be a new opportunity for me. And I'm excited to go work for, uh, for Mark at Whitestones Logistics out of Latonia, Ohio. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be having a different name on the truck and trailer. This load gets me to the house. And uh, then I'll start peeling off the turquoise stuff. Uh, he's going to send me all his stickers. I'm going to put those on. Uh, I'm going to take the Iowa plate off. I'll now have an Ohio plate on my tractor. So, you know, little changes like that. New paperwork, new permit book, but otherwise doing the same job just for a different guy. So, that's kind of what's going on in the clutch trucker world. And now, it's the Rusty Report on the Clutch Trucker Channel. Hello, and welcome to the Rusty Report. Well, not able to find Beneful Incredibites dry dog food at any store recently, and certainly not in my local grocery store, I've had to resort to desperate measures. Yep, Rusty in his old age has decided he doesn't like anything else. We've tried the pedigree, no go. We tried the kibbles and bits, not so much. And we even tried the Beneful regular size, but that just wouldn't do it. So, thanks to Amazon, I did find four bags of Rusty's Purina Beneful Incredibites, and they should be waiting for us at home when we arrive. So, that should make for one happy dog. Thanks for joining us on the Rusty Report. Still have to take a shower in Clearwater, um, Minnesota this morning at the Holiday slash Petro 2, and I was trying to adjust my glass, my little nose things on my glasses before I left, and this thing right here came off, the rubber part, the plastic part, whatever, you know, your, the pad. And I spent the next 45 minutes trying to get that freaking thing back on. It's one of those little things that just annoys the crap out of you, doesn't it? You know, and of course the problem was I needed my glasses to see to fix my glasses. Well, I can't wear them if I'm trying to fix them. It, one of those kind of things. But yeah, just one of those annoying things like hell. And, and I, you know, it happens. To, sometimes it's those small little things that just, just make you violent, don't they? Well, I do have to show you this. On the load I picked up, like I said, it was chips going to the Walmart distribution center in Cheyenne. Uh, but on my bill of lading, it says, must not exceed 6,000 foot elevation. Carrier responsible for all damages if instructions are not followed. See, it says that right there. Because uh, what's interesting about, and, you, and you know, this is something you never think about. I've talked about it before in a video a long time ago, but you know, Cheyenne is at 6,000 feet. But all the way there, I'm going to be lower, okay? If I were to go from Cheyenne to Laramie, that's 8,000 feet. I think it's like 8,400 feet. And if I did that, literally all the bags of chips on my trailer would explode. Yeah, it's true. Uh, that's, why if, uh, that's why they have to have different places to make the chips. Because if you're on the west side of... Uh, you know the the Rocky Mountains it's gonna come from the west somewhere if you're on the east side it's gonna come from the east because once you hit the continental divide uh, where you're gonna be going above 6,000 feet yeah literally all the bags of potato chips would explode isn't that crazy something you don't think about mm -hmm. well, there you go so I'll be going gradually I'm only at like you know a thousand foot now and I'll be going gradually up and by the time I hit Cheyenne I'll be at 6,000 feet that's why growing up in Colorado, which was like 5,400 feet, where I grew up, uh, I, it, it, when, until I moved to a different places, I never realized that bags of chips were not always completely puffed out. That's what I was used to. <laughs> They're completely puffed out because, you know, and it's all an elevation thing. Uh, air at a lower elevation is not as it doesn't it's not as dense it doesn't expand you go higher elevation air expands inside those bags because the air around you is less dense that's why so fun little trivia thing you may not have ever thought about all right so here we are parked in castleton north dakota yeah i never heard of it either 
Uh, it's uh, west of Fargo. And uh, I was just trying to make, I, I didn't really want to park again in the, the, the Petro in Fargo. Uh, the internet service there earlier was terrible. It's not the best here, but hopefully it'll be good enough to upload the video here tonight. Uh, but anyway, and just wanted to make a little bit past that. Uh, I'll do the majority of the drive tomorrow, heading towards Cheyenne, and then I'll finish up on Sunday, delivering at the Walmart distribution center there. Uh, hopefully they won't take too long uh, on Sunday, and then I can zip on to the house. I'll take at least Monday and Tuesday off, maybe even Wednesday as well. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to try to put the pitch thing on the uh, box, on the extension box. Uh, go ahead and get that done. Uh, also, yeah, going to take all the lettering off the truck. I've got to put the new lettering on. I've got to put take the old plate off, put the new... Uh, we, hit, we don't have the plate yet, but I'll have just the temporary one to put up in the windshield so that I'm legal and all that. But I'll have all the lettering and signage and everything on the truck and trailer. I've got to pull the turquoise stuff off. Uh, and get all that done and uh, then we'll head back out on the road like I say Wednesday or Thursday at the latest. So real excited about the change. Um, you know change can be frightening and it can be fun and I'm, I'm, I'm approaching it as fun. Why not? So uh, Mark's a real good guy. I've been in contact with him now for a little while and uh, I think he's gonna be a good guy to work with. So uh, hopefully we can make some money and uh, that's the whole goal on this is to try to take advantage of now getting the hazmat back on my license we'll see how that does and um, yeah so you know his whole goal is the most money for the least amount of miles i'm all about that baby yeah so uh <laughs> doesn't everybody want that you don't want to have to run your ass off and uh that, that was kind of his that's why he contacted me he said i, I just hate seeing you running your ass off for a little money when you know, I'm making these a lot of these short because that, that's what he kind of specializes in. A lot of these short little hazmat hops that pay really well for just a short little thing, you know, and you do enough of those, you're golden, baby. So, yeah, that's the, his whole philosophy is, uh, uh, yeah, work smart as turquoise, as uh, what Tourette's trucker always says, uh, work smart, not harder. And he's all about that. Yeah, the, the most amount of money for the least amount of miles. I'm on board. So. Yeah, we'll be opening the chapter of Clutch Trucker 2.0. Hopefully this is going to be a beautiful thing. So uh, we're getting all ready for that. Let me say, I'm here on my last run for turquoise. And uh, then next week, it's going to be Whitestone's logistics on the truck. And uh, yeah, just change the lettering, change the plate. Same guy, same channel and all that. Just uh, maybe some different adventures. What do you think? So stay tuned for that. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Uh, I know a lot of you have been wondering where I'm going, and, uh, you know, there's been a lot of guessing out there. Uh, but I didn't want to reveal it until I talked to Mark and made sure he was cool with uh, me letting that be known. So, uh, yeah, going to be just four of us. So, really small little company. But I think that's going to be a good thing, right, Rusty? Yeah, it's a, be it's a beautiful thing, baby, beautiful thing. So we're looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment if you'd like to, only if you'd like to. Get your comments. Uh, sometimes takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. And there's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Yeah, look, he seems like a nice guy and all. I just don't want to end up a lampshade in some guy's apartment. Okay? All right, he sees it. He eyes it. No, oh, come on. No. You, you can't anticipate. Get down here. You have to wait for me to throw it. All right, there it goes. All over that bedding strip, baby. Yeah. Yep, you know what's going through his mind. Bedding strip, bedding strip, bedding strip. I love them, I love them, I love them. They're so good. Bedding strip, bedding strip, bedding strip. Uh-huh. Right, Rusty? I'm sure if you could talk, that's what you'd be saying right now. Oh, I see a piece down there. Oh, you better get it. Okay. All right, one, one, one more little one. There you go. Happy dog. Cause he's a big and strip dog. All right, did you get it all? Happy dog, look. Rusty, one more. Come on, look up here. Rusty. Hello. Hello, Rusty.